Hey guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel and to another plan with me. So for this week, I'm planning out the week of February 24th through March 1st and I'm using, technically this is a really old kit from Glam Planner. Um, it's technically a February mystery kit, but I'm just going to call it the magic kit because I don't know what else to call it and the quote box in it does have the word magic in it. So we're just going to call it the magic kit because I literally have no idea, like, what this kit would be called because it was a mystery kit and I'm pretty positive it was a February mystery kit from a very long time ago. I looked it up on our Instagram and it said February mystery. So yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, I am using a little bit of a different kind of setup for this video. So hopefully the voiceover will sound a little bit better. Um, I noticed in my past, like my last plan with me, that the sound of the voiceover was not the greatest because my computer is overworking itself because of the fact that it is currently being mirrored on my iPad, so the fan on it is very loud. So I apologize if you guys can still hear that. I think you probably are still going to be able to. I don't think I'm going to have a way of like getting that to where you guys can't hear it, um, but hopefully it sounds a little better. We will, we'll see. I, I hope. We, I, I have no guarantee, unfortunately, because it's, it sounds like it's getting louder as the time goes on with this plan with me, which, you know, might just be the normal, but yeah until I can figure out how to get an actual microphone set up to this computer, this is going to be what's going to happen. But anyway, <laughs> moving on from that, I'm going to stop talking about my actual, like, problems that I have with my computer, because you guys are probably tired of me talking about it. Um, I did use some hollow foil for this kit. Um, I did ask you guys on Instagram, in my Instagram stories, on which foil I should use, and uh, you guys did say this one. I had a poll of whether I should use... Um, hollow foil or another different colored foil and you guys said hollow so I did decide to use hollow for it which I think the hollow works really really well because of how just colorful this kit is in general and it's just oh, it's beautiful I'm actually kind of really obsessed with this kit and just how it turned out um oh also I never even said why I was using this kit so I know most of you guys know I do work at Disneyland and funny enough this is a Disney kit and Disney is closed right now which makes me really sad but this was actually um a trip or a weekend that my sister and I took um maybe like two weeks before the shutdown of Disney um and we had planned it out like a couple months before this and we literally had a weekend at Disney so we stayed in the Grand Californian Hotel we were in the parks which there's a whole giant long story that goes into this um, and like what happened it was a very interesting time which I will explain a little bit on Sunday when I get to it um, but yeah it was a very interesting time frame but we did spend Saturday uh, not Saturday Sunday oh my gosh Sunday, Monday, in the parks. We did stay at the Grand Californian Hotel, which was really exciting because that was my first time ever staying at that hotel. I have stayed at the Disneyland Hotel, but this, like I said, was the first time I've ever stayed at the Grand, um, which, oh my god, it's so nice. Like, I like the Disneyland Hotel, but, like, the Grand is so nice, and I would stay there again in a heartbeat. Just saying that right now. I would stay there in a heartbeat. Um, but yeah, so we essentially ended up having two days that were in the parks and I figured why not use a Disney kit because I'm literally never going to use these Disney kits because I have so many of them and I was like I need to use one and I use this one because it didn't have the um, Florida castle in it. Most Disney kits have the Walt Disney World castle which is different than the Disneyland castle. Also my camera is going to cut off because it dies so I'm sorry but part of my sidebar is going to get cut off. Also I did this plan with me. Oh wait no sorry wrong plan with me. That's the next one. Um, I did this one really out of order like for some reason I just put everything down in a very weird order if you guys noticed that as I was talking um, but I don't remember what I was saying. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, most kits have the Florida castle in it just because it's the more grand castle that most people know. And so I did use this one purely just because it didn't have the Florida castle in it. It technically did come with a double box that had the Disneyland Paris castle, but I didn't want to use that again with Disneyland, not Disneyland Paris. So that is why I didn't use that. Um, but I am using two Disney kits. So I have this one for this week and then the next one is the up one from Scrubble Prince Co and again figured I would do two Disney ones just because why not I very rarely ever stay in the Disneyland hotel and very rarely do I spend more than one day at Disneyland so I was like you know what we're gonna do a spread for it um and because I just really like these colors and I thought they worked pretty well for the end of February um so yeah 
the little munchkins that are in the sidebar, um, I did put down that quarter box and I filled out the box that I put in the sidebar. Um, I put down two little munchkins together. Those are from Once More With Love, obviously. And then moving on to Monday, I realized that this kid does not have work labels. That's how old this kid is. Um, so I did have to grab some work labels. These are from Caress Press, which I figured... They matched pretty well and they were pretty easy for me to be able to match the colors to the kit so I just grabbed that for my work label and then I used a Fox and Cactus Girl because I was feeling really relaxed on this day. This was my first day after my interview for Avengers Campus and it was the first day that I had where I literally was able to relax and not have to worry about doing anything and it was great so that's why I wrote down that I was feeling really relaxed because I, I really was. Um, and then underneath that I used a donut. I believe this is from the Shine Sticker Studio um, like sticker book from Michaels. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me on that. Um, I think it is. I'll link her in the description box anyway. Um, for any of you, any of those of, for those of you who do not know, wow, words are hard. It's 1am right now. It's fine. Um, for those of you who do not know, I do always link these shops down below if you ever want to check them out. Um, but yeah, I believe that donut sticker is from there. So I put that down to mark Dunkin' Donuts. I do go to Dunkin' all the time for coffee, but when I actually get donuts, I like to use a donut to mark it just because it's a change from using the coffee all the time. And then underneath that, I used a phone icon from Scroll Prince Co. to mark that I needed to call scheduling. Not entirely sure why I needed to call them, but I'm assuming they probably called me in early or something. No idea. Um, and then I took a half box and a munchkin that's like chilling on um, a chair with like drool coming out of its mouth because I was super tired. Why did I say that so weird? Super tired. Um, so I just used the munchkin to mark that. And then I did need to take out the trash. It was I was off at 10 o'clock on this day, so I did get to do a couple things after. Um like work when I got home so I did take out the trash so that trash icon I believe is from Barney and Moon or Arctic Paper Studio I don't remember I'm sorry guys I'm the worst um and then I don't need that I took a sandwich um from Once More With Love to Mark Delia's Grinders which is a sandwich place next to my house moving on to Tuesday um I used another a foiled icon and use that to mark that I did need a budget money. I have gotten a couple of people requesting me to do a budget type video. I don't have a set like system of what I'm doing to try to budget money, especially with me right now currently not technically getting paid, um, like paid every week like I normally do. I don't have a specific budget like plan. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing a budget video anytime soon. I will think of it, like think about it and eventually possibly do one, but for the time being, I do not have one at all um, and I do not plan on doing one at the moment. So for any of you that are curious, just want to throw that out there. Um, and then underneath that, I took an edit script and I used um, a bow icon just because I didn't have any more filming ones so I just used the bow and I used that to mark that I edited videos. Also, for some reason, I was struggling with writing on this day. I don't know what it was, but I struggled so hard with trying to write out this spread. I, like, my writing is so bad. So, um, you'll see me a couple times, like, flex my hand because my hand hurts so bad, too. I was like, I don't know what's happening. I, I legit don't. But anyway, I don't need that. I took a munchkin because I did record a voiceover. And then I did play The Sims, so I used a Whimsical Cat Studio Girl, which I can finally use her because her hair is blue, and the blue only matches so many spreads. Um, but I was so glad that I was finally able to use her. But yeah, I used her to mark that I played The Sims. And then moving down, I used a Wonton in a Million um, Steamy on a couch to mark that I had a Netflix binge, which usually tends to happen when they play The Sims. I usually watch either Netflix or YouTube, one of the two. And then I used another foiled arc. Archon, what is wrong with me and talking today? Icon <laughs> to mark that I needed to check my record card. Um, my record card is essentially just a thing at work that um, it's complicated, but essentially, if you ever call out or if you are late, you get points and it just you can't hit a certain amount of points, stuff like that. So, I just wanted to check it just to make sure that everything was still all good. And then I put down a quarter box and then another icon and use that to mark that I needed to edit my benefits. So I just used a stethoscope because it was for my medical benefits and like dental and vision and stuff like that. And yeah, moving on to Wednesday, if filming Lindsay will catch up, she was struggling with writing. So 
Probably not. Um, first thing on Wednesday, I did put down a Mandy Dreams filming slate to mark that I published a plan with me. And then I used a Barney and Moon coffee cup and a Starbucks run script from Scroll Prince Co. Because I did go to Starbucks. And guys, this is going to be a first world problem right now. But I miss Starbucks so badly. I have not had it in almost two months. And I'm like, I, I need it. I've had Dunkin'. But I have not had Starbucks. And I know first world problems, there's so many more things that are worse right now. But I'm like, I miss my white chocolate mocha. Or even the pink drink. Just all of them. Ugh, I miss it. Anyway, moving on. Starbucks run. And then underneath that, I took a half box and a um, munchkin that's like, yeah, type thing. Um, I used that to mark that I had a productive day, which is always exciting for me. Because I feel like, in some aspects, I'm kind of a couch potato. Just a little bit. And so when I have a productive day, it's always good. And then I did listen to a podcast. Usually when I'm like cleaning or trying to have some kind of productive day, I listen to podcasts because it just makes me zone out for however long and I'm just listening to them and I do a lot of work in the time frame that I am listening to it. Like I actually listen to podcasts a lot when I'm filming just because it kind of like helps me focus on something rather than like what I'm doing and make it seem like what I'm doing is very daunting if that makes sense um I had to move my camera a little bit for some reason it was really far back and I kept hitting like the part of my desk and I couldn't move my planner more so don't mind that um but yeah so I did listen to unsolicited advice and that is an emoji from the coffee monsters co and then I did also wash my sheets which is funny because I washed my sheets and then I marked that I fell asleep early but I promised there was a time frame in between there for me to wash my sheets um but I used um, both of those are munchkins to wash my sheets and then to mark that I also fell asleep early. So yeah, that is it for Wednesday. Nothing crazy really happened. Um, it's funny because these are the interesting spreads. Interesting, like in quotation marks, um, because we haven't even gotten to the spreads of like social distancing and those, those spreads are probably not going to be the greatest because they're going to be very boring. Like, I'm literally doing nothing. Well, kind of. Like, I'm doing some things. I'm playing Animal Crossing mostly. But, like, I'm not going to work. I'm not doing anything like that. So, most of it's, like, YouTube binge, play Animal Crossing, sleep. Like, that's literally what it feels like all I'm doing. I know I'm doing more, but that's what it feels like. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I digress. Moving on to Thursday, I put down the work label. And then, can I just say, I say this every time I have washi in a kit, and I know that I buy mini kits on myself. I could totally buy ultimate kits from Squirrel Friends Co. But, like, it is so nice when you have cut washi. It makes life, like, a bajillion times easier. Anyway, I put down a piece of washi and a payday script from Squirrel Friends Co. And this is where my weekend, or my whole week, just kind of gets a little interesting. So, I started getting a toothache on this day. I used a munchkin with a tooth to mark that. So, essentially, I ended up getting this toothache. And I've had it before where... It's a really, really bad toothache. Like, I barely touch my tooth and it's, like, shooting pain through my head. And it's connected to my sinuses. So, unfortunately, I had pressure on my sinuses that then leads to the pain in my tooth, which is totally, completely possible. So, that was what's happening. It started with the toothache on Thursday and it progressed through the weekend, which I, again, will explain a little bit more as we get to it. Um, but, yeah, so I started with the toothache on Thursday. Didn't get much sleep because of it. Kind of sucked. Um... So, yeah, I had a toothache, and then I put down a, um, I think this is a Coffee Monsters Co., or it's One's More With Love washing machine to mark that I washed my costume. I used another Barney and Moon coffee cup for Dunkin' Coffee, and then I put down a half box and a WTF munchkin because there was a ton of guest concerns that we had at work. Not fun at all. And it had to have been a ton for me to want to mark it. So, yeah, a lot of guest concerns. Um, okay, moving on to Friday. So, keep an eye, or keep an eye. Keep in mind that I did not get a lot of sleep, was in a lot of pain, had a toothache, not a fun time. So that then leads into Friday. So I put down the work label and a bill due from the kit. And then I took a half box and a glam planner um, wine lolly to mark that it was the first day of food and wine, which is very interesting because it's kind of sad because food and wine only lasted about two weeks and it was like, all right, you're done. Like Disneyland's closing, which I think a lot of people said that they were like, there were reports of food and wine possibly, like, existing all the way until September, which is literally insane. Um, but then again, we have no idea when Disney would open again. But, yeah, food and wine is an interesting time. Uh, but anyway, food and wine. So then underneath that, I took a Fox and Cactus Girl to mark that I was in so much pain because, again, my whole entire side of my face just hurt. You can't 
eat, you can't touch it, you can't do anything. It's so painful. And like I said, I've had it before. This one was worse than normal though for some reason. Like the pain was pretty normal, but the side effects that came with it were not. Um, and yeah, it kind of, it, it sucked. It was very painful. But yeah, so I put down that there's so much pain. I then put down a quarter box and I used a munchkin that is like pressing on its face. This is ouch. This is technically, I think, from the tooth sheet because not only did I have the toothache, I then started having my face swell. So my whole entire right side of my cheek started swelling. It's fine. It was manageable at first. Like I was totally fine. Didn't really have to deal with it. Like it was swollen a little bit, but nothing too crazy. And on this day, like totally fine. I was able to go to work. Completely fine. So, um, yeah, so my face was swelling, so I used the Modi and Munchkin to mark that, and then I used a Fox and Cactus Girl underneath that because I did get annoyed at work. No one is surprised. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for Friday. I'm going to move on just so I can keep talking with this story because it's going to be long and I want to make sure that I'm actually going to be able to tell it not having to rush it. So, moving on to Saturday, wake up, my face is more swollen. Not as bad as it was like, or as it will get on Sunday, but it, it was definitely a lot more than it was on Friday. And at this point, I had already had plans. I literally promised one of my friends that I was going to go to LA with her. And then I had the Disney weekend. And I was like, I am not missing this Disney weekend. Like, we've been waiting for this for I don't know how long we've been wanting to do it. So on Saturday, face was swollen. About maybe, uh, like, it wasn't enough to where it was noticeable, but it wasn't enough to where it was hindering me in any kind of way. So, on Saturday, I put down a piece of washi and a sleep-in script from Station Stickers, and then a Barney and Moon coffee cup to mark a Dunkin' Coffee, because, again, no one's surprised that I got coffee. And then, like I said, we were planning on going to LA, so I used a munchkin that has, like, a food baby to mark that we went to uh, Lemonade, which is one of our favorite places to go to. We very rarely ever go there, because I don't live in LA like a two-hour drive for me and not about to deal with that um and so we did go to LA um or to Lemonade which is so good and then after that the whole reason why we were going to LA was to be able to go to Funko Hollywood which is the Funko store that is in Hollywood I think there's one in New York as well but essentially it has a bunch of different like life-size type Funko characters like there's a bunch of different like pop culture characters like Harry Potter, Marvel, Star Wars, uh, Jurassic Park, Disney, like it was really really cool. Like we were going there purely just so that we can go to that. Um and I did use Anna to mark that just because I mean she matched the kit um and I didn't really know what else to use to mark it. And um yeah, so we went to Funko Hollywood and then while I was there, which this is just purely me and just like geeking out, um I used a Wonton and a Million Steamy to mark a baby Pegasus plush cuz I was literally obsessed you guys have no idea obsessed with this baby pegasus plush because he's my favorite character hands down and I never see anything for him I have the Funko Pop for anyone who's curious but like I saw this plush and I was like oh my god I need it I literally almost started crying because I was so excited for this so yeah we went to Funko Hollywood we got the baby pegasus plush and then after that we had a little bit of time to waste because we were not about to drive home at five o'clock in the afternoon with rush hour traffic in LA to where we live no way. Like, that would take us, like, four hours. Like, the amount of traffic in LA at five o'clock is insane. So, we didn't want to um, go home yet. So, we did go to Universal City Walk, which I didn't pull a sticker for that. So, I just used a heart from the kit because I didn't have a sticker. Um, So, we were just walking around City Walk. At this point, my tooth was still hurting. I still had a swollen face. I had a little bit of a headache at this point, too. And so, we were like, okay, let's just make sure we're drinking water and, like, getting food and stuff like that. So, we're walking around. And then I got really excited because you guys, I don't know if you know this, but Captain America is my favorite Marvel character. And guys, I finally found a Captain America lounge fly backpack. I had been looking for it for so long and they finally released the Endgame one. And I was like, oh my God, I'm getting it. I'm getting it now. So I did end up getting the Captain America backpack. Okay, that is it for Saturday. Essentially, we drove home. Totally fine. Moving on to Sunday. So Sunday is the start of our Disney weekend. So I did have to wake up early because we wanted to make sure that we were getting up early um, to be able to check in or like drop off our luggage and stuff like that. And then we did have reservations for Goofy's Kitchen at 10 a.m., I believe. So I had to make sure I was waking up early. So, oh, guys, so I use this munchkin. This is technically a stress munchkin, but I use this to mark that my face was super swollen. Ooh, what is happening with my voice? 
Excuse me, sorry. I don't know what's going on. Apparently now I'm losing my voice. We're starting to die. It's fine. Right when I get to the peak of the story. <clears throat> Am I good? I think I'm good. Okay. So I wake up. My whole entire right side of my face is completely swollen. Enough to where my eye is about half swollen shut. And I was like, what is happening? Like, how did this completely double in one night? And I got to the point where I was like, I can't, I can't do this. Like, I don't know what's happening. So I ended up having to go to urgent care because I literally could not stop it because it was my face swelling. I was like, if there's something else swelling in my body, totally fine. But nope, it was my face. So I ended up going to urgent care. I used the paper and milk character to mark that. And literally, I have to pay like copay, all the stuff. And I was there for maybe a total of, thankfully, urgent care opened at 9. Um, I had to push back my Goofy's Kitchen reservation, which thankfully they let us push it back. Um, but I got there at 9 and there was no one in there. I was there for maybe a total of like 15 minutes. And because of COVID, I'm pretty positive this doctor did not want to like touch me or anything. He was just there, looked at me, and was like, okay, you have swelling in your face. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. Asked me a couple questions about why I had a toothache, which by this point, the toothache was gone. And he was like, okay, well, I'm going to prescribe you a steroid to try to get the swelling down. And then if it doesn't, just come back. Didn't touch me, only just looked at me, asked me like two questions, and that was it. And I was just like, oh my god, I paid a copay for this, purely just a $50 copay, just so you can look at me and tell me that I need a steroid. Okay, so he literally, um, prescribed me a steroid, which this steroid was, um, one that was one of those heavy duty ones. So I was like, oh, okay, let's hope I don't get addicted to this, which I didn't, which is totally fine. Um, I spent like maybe five days or so on it, but yeah, so I got the steroid and everything. We then go to Disneyland. So we checked into the grand. I had Goofy's kitchen, which is not my first time at Goofy's kitchen, which is always great. And you know, we ended up spending the day at Disney. The other reason why I didn't want to miss this time at Disney was because this was the First time I finally had reservations for Ogo's Cantina. I had never been to Ogo's Cantina. I was like, I am not missing this. Unfortunately, I could not drink any alcohol because of the steroid that was in my system because you couldn't mix the two, the medicine and alcohol. So I was like, well, I can't have any actual drink, but it was still really good. It was really fun. And we also managed to do the little code type thing to be able to get Chewbacca on Smuggler's Run, which was really, really cool that I've been on Smuggler's Run multiple times but I've never had Chewbacca and it was the coolest thing. Like literally one of the coolest things. I'm not even a big Star Wars fan, but like that was so cool. Um, and then we went to Oga's Cantina after. And then after that, we went to Trader Sam's, which again, sounds like I was drinking a lot. We really weren't. We did obviously other things while we were in the park as well, but those were just the main things, um, which I met up with my friend at Oga's Cantina. And then my sister met up with her friends at Trader Sam's. And then we stayed in the hotel, which was really, really nice. So yeah, this is the first part of this trip. Um, like I said, there's a whole another day that is um, going to be on the next spread, which I do already have filmed. Just got to film the voiceover for it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that um, long story. Uh, this weekend was a whole giant ride for me. Um, for anyone who is curious, um, my face is no longer swollen. The steroid did help. It went down like maybe two days later and yeah we're all good now. So there's a little bit of a viv wiggle for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And don't forget to follow my Instagram. It's always linked down below. And I'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. Bye guys.